Yeah. Adrian, how does it feel to be on this big part of network TV? First time back in 30 years. Uh, it's, a, it's a hell of an experience, you know, and um, to be one of the first to open it up, you know, they picked the right guy. Wonderful opportunity for you in your career. What about the fight itself? What, how did you and Mike prepare for this fight? Ah, I man, this is one of the best, best training camps I've ever been in, honestly. You know, uh, I'm ready physically, mentally, and um, I'm going to destroy this kid. What, what were you working on specifically? Um, uh -huh. Is your defense uh, uh -huh. You know, uh, every, everybody know I got good defense, yeah. you know, but uh, at the end of the day, you usually have to see me uh, fight night, Saturday night. Does that mean you want to make more of an impression of defense? Nobody, nobody can, nobody, nobody, I'm not trying to down talk nobody, but I just feel like nobody can run a sport the way I can run it after Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao's done with the sport. And uh, I'm going to do what I got to do. Is, is he an opponent because of his style that kind of sets it up for you to have a, a, a good showing? Because he's an excited fighter that will make an exciting fight for you in the front of a, uh, millions of fans on NBC. He, he, he's a talented guy himself. He can hit. You know, but I just feel like I'm on a different level. Is 140 pounds where you want to be most comfortable right now? feel most comfortable? We know you can fight at 47, we know you can fight at 47. When I, when I first fought 47, I was still a lightweight, but uh, you know, um, I've grown into 140, 147. You know, I'm comfortable and um, I'm a stronger guy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bigger man now. <laughs> the last time you were here, you dominated. How do you like fighting here at DMG? It don't matter where I fight, man. Just give me a crowd and I'm perform. Outside of his power, which is what everybody's talking about, is there anything else that you're looking out for? Or are you just going to go out there, fill him out in the ring, and then do your thing? Uh, it don't matter if he can't hit or if he can't hit. You know, any punch can knock you out. Okay. Any punch can hurt you. You know, uh, so I'm watching out for any punch of any opponent that I, that I fight. Yeah. And then everybody always talk about his power, how he's so strong or supposed to be so strong. But look, look at the facts here. He got 35 fights with 22 knockouts. And I got 30 fights with 22 knockouts. Yeah. We came from the same weight classes. So, so how can you say that he's stronger than me? Right. What, what if what if we fight and, and I walk him down and, and abuse him the way I'm going to abuse him and make him look like he ain't as strong as everybody said he was? Then what happened? Oh, I just did what I was supposed to do because I'm AB? Right. It's okay. You know, the talk is, you know, when on Saturday you're going to be probably the title fight at 40. You've already won the title in three different divisions. To be so young and potentially have uh, titles in four different weight classes, I mean, what do you think of that or do you even think of your accolades? Um, honestly, I don't see my belts at all. I don't see them. And my kids can't eat belt soup. <laughs> so, all I'm worried about, you know, as long as my check right, give me a nice opponent. Any, I fight anybody, whoever comes to the table first. And I'm ready. Is, uh, I know you, you're focused on this fight, but is uh, Maidana fight still on something that you want to do again? We've seen him on video, and he's looking really out of shape, so you don't even know if he's coming back. But if that opportunity was there, is that something you want to avenge that loss or something? You know, uh, I don't have nothing against Maidana. I'm happy for what I've done for his career. And um, I'm not worried about it. You know, uh, of course. I wanted to fight him on Sunday after after the Saturday night fight, but it, but boxing don't work like that. Yeah. So you have to move on in life, and I've and I've done that, okay. and I've been looking good doing it. So you know, if if the fight come back around, and I'm ready for it. But uh, right now, I'm ready about worried about John John Marino. Okay. Last question for me. Any message for you fans that'll be watching the video? Ah oh, man, AB still AB, always balling, always blinking, fresh thought flashy as always, and um. I am Mr. NBC and, and watch me fight Saturday night.